Hey friends, welcome into my channel today. My name is Sherry. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, as always, welcome back. I am here with you today, um, kind of starting a new video series. I'd like to put a video out at least every week or two weeks. A lot of it's just gonna depend upon what I put in my shop. So what I'm here today to do is to share with you what I have listed in my Etsy shop. Right now they're, they're junk journals. I have a few, a handful. Um, oftentimes I will have packs of coffee dyed paper in there. And if that is something you're interested in, let me know. I can certainly get a couple back in there. Um, but right now I just have a few junk journals and I have a lot in progress that will be joining. So be on the lookout for an Etsy shop update, maybe once a week, once every couple weeks, just depending on how many journals I get made and, and items. And um, I'll keep you updated on very brief and quick videos as to what's in there. So I thought I would start with this one. This is actually an envelope journal. And if you happen to see on PM Artist Studio video collab hop, I believe this is the one I made for one of the video collabs. If I'm not mistaken, I think it is. But it is a envelope journal. So it's a series or a sequence of envelopes somewhat similar to this that are just put together various heights, sizes. Usually I do, usually do about four to five sections. So that just kind of shows you what's underneath all this. I've just got it tied together with some sari silk. And all of this is jelly printed paper that I've made and then just collaged over this. I have pockets in here. I have, this is just a very, um, I'm going to say kind of an artistic -y, I would say more of an artistic journal. Then it, it has no specific theme. It's not a digital download. It's just all kinds of my stuff put into a art journal. So I'm just going to do quick flip throughs. You've got my coffee dyed paper, room to write. Again, it's all just my coffee dyed papers and jelly printed papers. Got a little pocket there with a little tiny round tag. Again, this is some jelly printed rice paper. A uh, little envelope pocket that I made with some jelly print papers and scraps. So this is really basically just a jelly print <laughs> journal. Just a little bit of coffee dyed paper tucked in there so that you could write something on it. This is a fun one. This is fun because it's got a lot of room for you to add. You can add so much of your own to it. You can tuck things in here, stencil, uh, uh, Tim Holtz stencil using jelly prints and acrylic paints. Again, more of the same. Uh, another little pocket with a doily folded in half and a little round jelly print. These are really fun to do because you can get as creative as you want and you can add to this, which really there's nothing you could go wrong adding to this. This is a fun little pocket I made a long, long, long time ago had in my stash and I just thought that these cute little tags would be cute in here, holds three. So those are just fun little random tags. I have a little fabric flip, but it's actually made of rice paper. So it's not fabric, it's rice paper. And then just, again, more jelly prints. That's the center. Just another little envelope tuck spot and a card. Same thing again. That one's just a little envelope and a little piece of coffee dyed paper. More jelly printing and then this one flips out this way. You've got a kind of a grungy looking. Can we get into this pocket or did I glue it? No, I think that ended up getting glued. Kind of a grungy just piece of roll off probably there and again another just cute little jelly printed tag in a pocket, little doily, and then more jelly print, coffee dyed paper. 
So the everything I showed you here will be listed on my Etsy shop. I will leave the link below for you to my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is still called Sherry Black Dog Designs because that's what my channel formerly has been for years. Um, and so on Etsy, it's still Sherry Black Dog Designs, but I will leave you the link to that if you wanna go check these out. And then this is the back. So all you simply do with this one, I just have a simple sorry silk tie on it. These are a lot of fun to make. In fact, I, I really need to get a few more made because they really are one of my favorites to do. I've got one more of those. Whew. I put my sweater on because I thought I was going to be cold in my studio, but I'm actually warm, so I'm going to take it off. This is another, this one really, I love this one. I absolutely had a blast with this one. This one is um, a digital download kit. Uh, I believe I got this one from Roxy Creations here on YouTube. It's like a Tuscan theme, Italian villa style um, theme. I do believe I have a video. I either, I don't know that I have a video on the making of it, but I do have a flip through video of it on my channel, I know. So this one has a little short door here that just flips open. And all of the ephemera in here did come from Roxy's Creations. Um, and then I cover, but it also has my coffee dyed paper. So any of these little tags and pockets you see were all from the kit. Coffee dyed paper, a little fabric flip, because I want to go to Italy and drink wine. And so I thought that my, my little wine cork material was good there. But I just love this little journal. I think it is so fun and so cute. And you could, again, you could personalize this, make it your own. With some stamping I did, a couple little clusters, another little tag and a tuck, a little belly band and a tuck. Again, everything from the kit. I can't remember offhand the name of the kit, but if you want to, I'll try to link my video or put it in the end card where I, I did give you more information about this kit. That would be available as well. Um, little flip out here, just some stamping, but it's all very Italian vintage and villa style stuff. And I just thought this was so pretty. I just love this kit. I mean, this journal. And so this is this, usually these have three to four signatures. And I forgot to mention that in the other one. This is the second signature of this one. Again, another fabric flip. That flips out for writing space. Beautiful tag. Lots of lace. Sort of a feminine journal. Journaling cards. Some old book behind it. Again, another flip. This would probably be number one, two, three. Yeah. Signature number three. And it's very thin. So it's got a little bit of writing space and some tags. Just pull out stuff here you could add on to. And I wanted to do these flip throughs for you. So you can go on to my Etsy page and you can look at the photos. But I think sometimes it's nice when you can actually see the finished product. And here's another, this is the fourth little signature. Again, more coffee dyed and cabbage dyed paper, tags, tuck spots, writing spots, places you can add your own, make it your own, add more, do what you want to it. This is a little flip with a tag in it and you come to the back of it. And then I just take this one and I tie it around. This one is attached, the other one was not. So the other one could be traded out, but this one is just attached with eyelets and I thought that was fun. So that's my other envelope journal. Okay, yeah, this one has been in my Etsy shop for a while. I made this last fall and I absolutely love this one. It is a fall kit and it is, it is from a digital, um, but I'm not gonna go into the digitals 
here. I will go into that more when I do my process videos of where I get the kit, what I'm making, what I'm doing. Here, I simply wanted to share with you what's in my Etsy shop. So this is a very pretty, very pretty um, fall kit. I have Mod Podge the outside, done a lot of sewing around it. Lots of room to write, some tags, some digital paper, lots of journaling cards, tags, little tags, very fallish. And, and I know we're not in that time of year right now and everybody's really more in a summer mood, but I just wanted to show you what's in the shop. So I always like to have fall and spring things in there. So, And I am a fairly new Etsy shop, so I'm hoping as time goes on, I can have much, much more available in there. Again, just all beautiful little fall themed and fall colored. This is just a little journal wrap around that I printed out in black and white and I just tuck it around and the prices are on I keep them very simple um, but the prices are on the in my Etsy shop some more little tags with some burlap I did some lace on that page that was cabbage dyed paper some doilies, coffee dyed, um, another fabric flip, room to write underneath if you want to write a secret message. Those hydrangeas are beautiful. Again, a little envelope and more journal cards, coffee dyed paper, plenty of room to write, plenty of journal cards, little envelope here. I think I've probably just stuck some. That was turmeric dyed paper. Nice long tag you could write on. This is just a kind of a floating little journal spot. That's the middle. It's not pretty. And these these are this is one signature. This is a cute little pocket that you sort of fold out and then you can fold it back shut. And you can put stuff in it, you can write in it, however you want. That's just, a, I think this is a My Porch Prints uh, kit, actually, come to think of it. I do quite a bit of My Porch Prints, so it's pretty common for me to have. And then that just flips out, and it's a little tuck. Again, some more, just some little tags and and little envelopes you could embellish how you want here. I leave room for you to add your own personal touches as well. Or journal, art journal on it if you want. However you want to do, you make it yours is, is what I like to do. A little bit more lace, some more tags. Again, one of my favorite kits. It's very pretty. The same thing, another little wraparound flip out. A couple more little pockets with tags. Again, four pockets, four tags, more journal cards, bloom where you're planted, a little bit of lace there, more tags and cards and journal cards and just pretty ephemera, beautiful colors. This is the back. We have a nice little pocket here with some journaling cards stuck in and again all mod podged on the inside and the out and it says goodbye summer so that one you just tie up like this and you're good to go it's very sturdy this thing this mod podge is on there good guys and another one i wanted to share with you then i'll get into the newer ones so this one this is a christmas one but i just wanted to let you know it's on on the website on in the etsy shop i mean this is a really pretty kit. I've sewed over the cover of this with some material, put on some image from the kit, some lace, and I just thought this one was really pretty too. This one has some fun little tags there that I've just clipped in, some more tags, some journal cards. Just really pretty, pretty. December 25th, I put some lace on here. This is a little um, fabric flip that matches the cover. Place to write. A little bit more lace. Um, this 
some green dyed paper. I think I might have done that with, I did that with my candle wax dye. I did. Another little card you could remove. I don't know if I have anything in, the, in there, but I might perhaps put something in there. And you can clip it on the top. You could clip it on the side. I like these little clips. I think they're really cute and add a fun little element. Again, that was done, that red, with some of my my um, candle wax dye. Kit paper. <laughs> a dryer sheet. I dye anything. I just try different things, but... Anyway, this is a fun little belly band with just a really sort of, mm, gosh, linen-y feel to it. Piece of paper. Again, image from the kit with some lace, some tags, some little tiny tags in the front pocket. More kit paper. That is the middle of the signature. Coffee dyed paper. Book page. Oh, and the tag jumped out there. Another little fun pocket. As you can see, I've left you plenty of room to add your own embellishments to it. Um, this is just a pretty little journal, a big journal card. Some more little cards just backed with some music paper, and I believe that is Christmas music. More coffee dyed paper, a little belly band, again with a card, and then in the back another couple little tags and I've got a little lace pocket there. So that is that one. That's just labeled as Christmas Christmas journal. I didn't put it any more specific than that. And it's the only Christmas journal I really have in there at the moment. So and then this is a winter journal. Again, I know we're out of that time of year, but I wanted to show it to you. This is um, a winter wonderland type of kit like a oh gosh what do you call it like a woodland kit and I just thought it was really pretty again it's on some material I did put book corners on this one some kit um, image that I've just sewn on top of some lace this is a really pretty kit I really love this one too I said I know we're not in that time of the year but I wanted to show you what's in there and until it sells, it'll be in there. So this one's really pretty. It's got the little owl, lots of owls, lots of snowy scenes. Again, more cabbage, coffee dyed paper, little fabric flip. I put some old um, TV guide in here. I like to find old things like that when I can at estate sales and yard sales and stuff like that and stick them in. So cute little tag with the bunny little glassine bag here you could put something in a little flip out envelope here with some cabbage dyed paper kit and cabbage dyed paper again just some pockets with some little cute cutouts from the kit some little fussy cuts little hat little ticket Walking in a Winter Wonderland. Yep, it's a Winter Wonderland journal for sure. Old book page, kit paper. Again, just a little tiny side tuck. That is a little envelope, a little journal tag, journal card. But the images on this were so pretty. This, you guys. I have been in love with this since I first saw it. I think that's what sold me on doing this kit. And this is the center of the signature as well. I just love that. I think that is stunning. And more cabbage dyed paper, coffee dyed paper, tags. Oops, little squirrel. Another little ticket there. The other side of the glassine bag book page another little envelope and a pocket same thing here a little pocket with a little cup of hot chocolate there and this again is same one of those type of things this is probably my porch prints um, I sewed around this one again you could put it wherever you want you could attach it you don't have to um, and then another 
little tag, TV guide, side tuck, a cute little journal card in it. And then we get to the back. Oop, that sort of stuck together. I put my little, one of my little labels on there, Sherry Black Dog Designs with my name. And then the back page and a cute little pocket that I made and then a tag. And I did put some little something on there. I can't remember what it's called, but this makes it shiny. So that is that kit in the back. Again, just tie it up. It's got uh, eyelets, so it's, it's pretty strong. You, you're not going to don't have to worry about ripping it and it's got the corners there one that i i have the cover made this one is not in the shop yet these next two i'm going to show you are not in the shop but everything i just got done showing you is in my etsy shop this is a kit uh, sorry a cover that i've made and i do have some kit elements in it however some changes were made along the way in this one and I've got a cute little tag there with a ball pin. So I sewed this with some material that I had, sewed around it. Um, I've got a fabric flip ready to go in it. I've got some journaling cards in here in the pockets. This will be a one journal, I mean one signature journal. I just have to get reprint out the kit is what I have to do. That's probably the easiest way to say it is reprint out the digital get my signatures put together and get my ephemera and everything put in here. And then this kit, this journal will go into my Etsy shop for sale as well. I just call this one the sunflower journal, but I will definitely do a video and let you know when it is listed in my shop. And last but not least, I'm coming along on this one and I've got two right here on my shelf that I know you are going to love that I've yet to get started, but I have a lot of time this week, I do believe, and I'm hoping to get them both done and listed by the end of the week as well. This is one I'm just finishing up. It's called Grandma's Garden, and it comes from, I believe, SS Digital Designs is where I got the digital download. So the cover is just some... Um, what do you want to call it? Paper that I had and I Mod Podged over my cover base. I've put lace on it, lace on the spine, lace here. I put the corners on. It's got rivets. You can see there's a lot of sari silk involved in this one. Again, I made a, a journal topper with some just raggedy old material, coffee dyed paper behind it. Actually, that's, I think, more cabbage dyed paper. Uh, kit images and sewed around before I assembled it all and so this one I'm hoping to get this one into the shop probably uh, let's see today's Sunday so probably Monday or Tuesday if all goes well so again this is grandma's garden um, fabric flip Again, my cabbage dyed paper, which I think I need to get more of that made because I do seem to use it a lot. Beautiful kit image, very soft colors. These tags, um, I just stuck them here this way for the fun of it, but you don't have to keep these here. You could put them in another direction, put them up and down, and put other tags in there if you wanted that's totally up to whoever purchases this, but these are just some fun little, that's a little envelope, and basically just some kit ephemera, cabbage dyed paper. Again, some more journaling cards in a three pocket here, three pocket pocket. Um, put a glassine bag here. So like I said, this one isn't finished. I'm still working on it. Hopefully it'll go up in the shop in the next two days couple of pockets here I've still got to fill. This came out of a gardening book. That's a little pocket there. Kit paper. Just some book page that I made into a little pocket. Um, again, another one of these envelopes that flips out. I don't have it filled yet, but you can put it wherever you want. It's totally movable. Um, kit paper. The other side of a glassine bag. 
do believe this is the center of the signature. And these signatures are about 15 to 18 pages total, um, not counting stuff like this. And then another little same thing, little flip out envelope that I don't have filled yet. Another book page pocket that I made, just stuck that in there. Um, this is a little, this has a side tuck on both sides. So you can put something in here, you can put something in there. I need to glue this still, so this could be a little bit of a tuck. I could even glue here so that you have a tuck here, a tuck there, and a pocket there. Um, more little pockets with tags. Glassine bag. Again, another three-tiered pocket with kit ephemera. I thought this was a really pretty, pretty, pretty kit. A little, oops, a little envelope, journal card, little butterfly journal card, a couple more tags to go in here on these pockets, and a little belly band I made just to go that way, and another journal card. I still need to distress that one. You can see it. I'm still working on this one. And a couple of journal cards back here that I thought looked really cute. And then that's the back. So it's got a lot going on with the uh, with all this right now. But um, anyway, this will be in the shop. It's Grandma's Garden. It will be in my Etsy shop, hopefully within the next two days. So please do look back if you're interested in it. Um, keep checking back. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop below. And I hope to see you there. That would be awesome. And be on the lookout. Hopefully by the end of the week, I will have another video with another couple very special, special journals that I know you're going to love. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy these little um, updating you with what's in my Etsy shop. I hope it helps you. I hope it encourages you to look around on Etsy and um, just help out, you know, small artisans. And we enjoy what we do and we want other people to enjoy the fruits of our love and our labor. So take good care, stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.